A lien is a claim against the property of another. Liens are usually recorded in real estate records, like deeds. They let the world know who has a claim against property, how much the claim is, and when the claim was filed, establishing priority. A lien is usually filed to make sure that the lien holder is paid before title to the lien's debtor's property can pass to someone else. There are many types of liens. The basis for the claim, the type of claimant, and the rights of the lien holder are all reflected in the different types of liens. A voluntary lien is where the landowner himself signs to place the lien on the property. This is a voluntary act done by consent of the owner. The most common type is a mortgage. A mortgage is the bank's claim to the property should the owner miss mortgage payments. Anytime real property is used as collateral for a loan, it will be through a voluntary lien, like a mortgage or security deed. On the other side are involuntary liens. This type of lien is placed on the real estate without the owner's consent, but usually because the owner failed to follow an obligation. Common types of involuntary liens are state or local tax liens for unpaid property taxes, IRS liens for owing money to the IRS, homeowners association or condominium liens for unpaid dues, and judgment liens. When renovation is being done on a house, or a house itself is being built, it is common for the contractors and subcontractors to file a mechanics or materialman's lien on the property undergoing renovation. This secures payment for the work being done. Each state has its own system of dealing with mechanics liens. For example, If the contractor during the renovation wishes to exercise his right under the lien and file a lawsuit for unpaid bills, he must do so within one year of filing the lien and file a notice in the real estate records that a lawsuit has been filed. Otherwise, when a person searches the title to the property and finds the mechanics lien, if it's more than one year old, the title searcher will assume that it is expired is a matter of law. A mechanics or materialman's lien is essentially voluntary because the lien would not be placed if the homeowner didn't consent to the work being done. Similar to mechanics liens, there are attorney's liens. This type of lien is filed usually pursuant to a state law when an attorney is owed money for legal fees. This ensures that if the property is sold, the attorney will get paid before title can pass to the new owner. Liens can be general or specific. A specific lien relates to one specific parcel of real property. This is common with a mortgage or materialman's lien, but a general lien relates to all property owned by a person within the county. Therefore, general liens have to be filed in all counties where the lien holder believes the debtor has property. Tax liens are general liens. A Uniform Commercial Code lien, or UCC lien, is also a general lien, but it usually relates to movable property, or chattel. You may find this in the real estate records, but it's usually recorded with a different office. There are also statutory liens. These are liens that exist as a matter of law, by operation of a statute or state law. A lien for condominium association dues is statutory in some states. The condominium association does not have to file a lien document in the county real estate records in order to establish its claim or priority of its claim. The claim exists immediately when the homeowner becomes delinquent in paying dues or assessments, whether or not a lien document is filed. Often, as a matter of courtesy, to give notice to other lien holders and to make the homeowner take the claim seriously, the condominium association will file a notice of lien in the county real estate records anyway. 
there is also something called an equitable lien. This is a lien imposed by a court to maintain fairness. This type of lien can be used when one person is holding the property of another. Judgment liens are also equitable liens. A judgment lien comes into existence when a court issues a money judgment against a defendant. Again, each state has their own rules and procedures. Usually, the judgment creditor takes the court's final order in judgment and has the county clerk issue a lien that is recorded in the real estate records. This will make sure that the judgment is paid off before title to the property is transferred through a sale. How long liens are valid varies by state and depends on the type of lien. Some expire in a year, some four years, and some never expire. Check your local laws and talk to an experienced attorney to see the status of a lien you encounter during a closing.